Hey there, everybody, this is Svenshin Han, welcoming you back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. In the last episode, we uh, saved King Richard of Force and I, went to the black market here in Baizel, we learned about the, uh, some, the elemental spirits, where the next one is. In fact, we need to take a boat from here to uh, Palo, and we're here during the day, and if you talk to these guys here, they say, sorry, we're closed, wait until night. You know, night when everything that's exciting happens. Let's see, um, during the night, or during the day, there are some other people here, I think, although this guy is probably... The black market is now hiring dancers. Okay, there's one tiny little thing that I want to do before we head on to the next place. And that's because it's kind of cool to show you this, uh, for the next time that, uh, that we actually, uh, get to meet him. So if you go to this house, uh, we had the old man here yesterday, he said, um, he's not a ghost, he's just a janitor. And he's never around. But then outside, here, we see this weird guy looking into the window. Nobody lives in that house during the day, but at night the lights suddenly come on. And there are weird sounds coming from inside. It must be a ghost! You mean it's not? Damn! It's kind of cool though. Okay, so he repeats himself. Anyway, uh, keep this in mind because we'll run into a uh, certain individual at a later point. Actually, we'll run into him again. I think it's him, I'm not entirely sure. Um, there were no special shops here, I think. So, let's head over here to the docks. Oh yeah, I, uh, off screen I stocked up on, uh, on some extra pot oils. I have 27, or 24 in reserve, and then 9 in my inventory. That should last us quite a while. One way rate to Palo is 50 luke per passenger. Are you coming along? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I'm running out of money really fast. I almost wanted to grind for money, you know, off screen, but I decided not to. But yeah, let's take another trip in one of the ships and uh, see the world for ourselves. Now you can kind of see in like the, uh, on the far east side of the map, there's this little blinking dot, that's where we're headed. And we're going to just uh, quickly fall off the edge of the world and appear on the other edge. It's magic how that happens. It's not like the world is round or anything. Then again, this one might not necessarily be round. And then we arrive in Palo. There's no way to skip those little cutscenes, though. At least not the first time that you, that you do it. Okay, that's some serious music for... That's very serious music. For a fishing harbor, you expect it to be more peaceful. Uh oh. <laughs> he took the words out of my mouth. Uh oh. He's like, oh my god, Navarre soldier. Eh? Doesn't he know who I am? Is he being manipulated by Isabella? Huh. Pale now be belongs to the kingdom of Navarre. Do not resist us. Damn that Isabella. From the looks of it, the entire army is under her spell. Yeah, that's not good. And basically everyone is just like a... Kind of like a ghost, I guess. Uh, we can go here in the weapon shop, I believe. And they will sell us stuff. I'm just not sure that I have the money for it. Uh, we do. We have a Mulbear Claw. We have a Broadsword. And then we have a special Roundel, roundel Dagger. And it takes almost all the money we have. Then again, we don't have much else to spend anything on, so let's just keep going. Let's see, there's an inn there. It's nothing special. And there's a weapon and armor shop up here. I'm pretty sure that I have absolutely no money left for anything right now. Okay, um... Yeah, there's new items for everyone. It costs about... 400. Uh, let's get... You know what? This is gonna be the equipment episode. I'm gonna equip everyone with their new items first. So I'm gonna give everyone their new stuff. I still have their old stuff. Let's give him the Atsusumi earring for some extra defense and magic defense. And switch over to Kevin. Give him his new items. And then finally over to Durin with a nice new sword. 
His attack power is, has gone way up, by the way. Okay, now what we'll do... Uh, because I, I should have probably done this earlier, but... Uh, we're just gonna sell... All of our old stuff. And apparently... This guy... Will want our old equipment for some reason. I don't know, a cotton kilt? Don't know why I want that, but now we have 1500 Luke. And that should just about allow us to give everyone a nice armor upgrade. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna go the other way around. Let's equip Durin first. That's only one defense for a huge investment. I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna give everyone the armor upgrade. Uh, because that's really good. But I'm not spending 200 Luke for that little defense. I'm not. I'm just not. Okay, let's equip that. I know I keep saying this, but this is probably the last time that we'll see this little inventory screen. I, I'm, I'm starting to really think about cutting it all out. Because, I mean, it's, it's annoying enough just playing the game and it being so slow. Okay, now at least we're beefed up with new equipment. And let's, uh... Let's head out of the city, because we need to get to the Wind Kingdom of Roland. And apparently these uh, Navarre soldiers, they really don't have anything of note to say. Let's see, um, there's a jail in here. I don't think there's anything you can do. There might be something interesting here. When Navarre invaded us, this child was injured. Ow, it hurts. Okay. That's... Was she, um... Attacked? Raped by the raiders? I don't even know. This is kind of like a weird... Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is why I wanted to come here. Mountain, flower garden. Kev is like, huh? Hey, give me some more whiskey. Be right there. And then she leaves. And that was uh, Lee's. One of the uh, six main characters of the game. And the Wind Kingdom of Roland, that's actually where she's from. So we're heading to her starting area now. And, um... Yeah, it's a nice, cool place to explore. This has really cool music. It's called The Path to the Heavens. I don't know, it's just cool. It's just cool like that. And again, let's just blow everything up with Kevin. And Durin. I should, I should probably be fair and say that Durin is... Every bit as strong as Kevin is. And for now, in the beginning of the game, he hits much harder, especially during the game when Kevin doesn't have his boost. But yeah, that's just the nature of things. And these guys are really annoying. If you have spellcasters, they can silence you, and as you as you can see, they do a fair amount of damage. They're not too tough, but we are leveling up. That's cool. Um, Kevin could probably do with the extra intelligence. Yeah, let's give that to Kevin. And from here on out, I don't know exactly where to go. There's different ways to go. I think we're first supposed to uh, supposed to go this way. I mean, they were kind of talking about like the the Kingdom of Roland and the Corridor of Wind, and it's definitely a place that you want to go. In fact, we're here now anyway, so. And up here some more enemies. And they're starting to level up now, so uh They won't always stay weak. And I think look looking at the colors, it's starting to turn night. So it might be very soon when Kevin becomes his full killing machine again. Okay, I have to fight these guys alone. You're not helping. You're stuck there, you stupid AI. Now I can't even get Hawk to open the chest. Just a round drop. Let's see, what's in here? I know this is the wrong way. Uh, just enemies. Let's skip them. I'm just gonna fight the enemies that happen to be on the way. I'm not gonna go out of my way to fight any anything. Come on, it's not nighttime yet? Look at the sky. I mean, it's all, all red and stuff. At least, at the very least, it should be dusk. Werewolves come out at dusk, right? Don't they? I'm fairly sure they do. Let's see, wait for a chest? Yes. I do want to wait for chests every now and then, because the healing items are kind of useful to me now. Especially with Kevin 
getting more and more HP and losing a fair bit of it too. I still haven't gotten a single item that can change day to night. That's annoying. Okay, so basically, um, I'll show you this real quick. In here. Ah, uh, after we get the chest here. More Pui Pui grass. I just sold everything else. Oh well. Um, in here, this is actually called the Corridor of Wind. Uh, there's nothing we can do right now. Because if you go past this screen, we'll fight those on the way back. There's this weird statue blocking the way. What? I can't get in. Nope. It's the Corridor of Wind and there's nothing we can do. So basically we have to go back here. Let's fight these zombies now. Zombies versus werewolves. I'm pretty sure the werewolf would win. I mean, well actually, maybe not. I mean, zombies... Like, how do you kill a zombie? Uh, we can increase strength for Hawk, so let's do that. Like, what's the best way to kill a zombie? I think it's just to cut off the head, right? That's... Then again, some zombies don't die when you cut off the heads, so that's probably not the best way to do things. But then werewolves can only be killed by silver, right? So... And Kevin does turn into a werewolf at night. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm being so... I'm being so stupid. Anyway, yeah, they're like, silence. You can, uh, tell by the, by the white little dots above the characters' heads that they're silenced. Let's see, what's in here? More zombies? Let's... Okay, that's bad. Um, I'm gonna cure everyone with the poto oils and show you what they can do. So that's basically how they work. They heal everyone at once. Um, but the healing amount that they do is based on um, a particular stat called the spirit stat. So if you don't have much of it, they won't heal for much. Uh, which is why I'm probably going to focus on uh, Durin being our healer. I'm going to be pumping strength for the most part. Uh, every now and again, though, I'm going to increase something else. Okay, this is the Wind Kingdom for a lot. And it's closed. That's, um, strangely cool, I guess. And I realized I went the wrong way. So, I'm sorry, everyone, I wasted your time. We need to go in a completely different direction, and everyone is dying again. Um, I think Hawk has higher spirit, so let's have him use the Poto Oils, because I think then we'll heal for 60 instead of 50. No, he has the exact same low amount of spirit. Okay, we'll start increasing the spirit for some other character soon. Okay, um... Uh-oh, those guys are dangerous. The guy with the sword, uh, they can do some serious damage. So you want to take them out fast. Although, I think it's maybe not, maybe it's not these ones, maybe it's the later ones that appear at some other point in the game. Yeah, Durin can go up to 10 strength. But, um, for now, let's increase his spirit. And we'll start having him act as our healer. So I guess I, guess I might as well show that off right now. Um, I'll have Durin use the Poto Oil. So you can see that Kevin and Hawk um, healed us for like 52 and 50. If Durin heals us, it's for 60. So that's 10 extra health for having more spirit. And that'll stack up really quickly towards the end of the game, so it doesn't it's not always gonna be this low. It's gonna it's gonna get much, much better. So don't worry about that. Now there's zombies here. I, I guess technically you don't even need a healer at all. You can just um, beat the entire game with portal oils, that's how good they are. The thing is, though, some bosses do so much damage to you that you might run out of all nine before the battle is over. And, I mean, if you're not in battle, you can head over to the, uh, to the storage. You can go to the portal oils and you can just refill them from there. You cannot do that in battle, however. So in battle, you're always limited to whatever items you have on the item ring. Okay, so this is the bridge I needed to go. Thank you very much. I got lost there. <laughs> like that never happened in previous Let's Plays. 
I, I lost count of how many times I got lost in Lufia too. Chest. Uh, more pre regress. Useless. Give me good healing items for crying out loud. Okay, there's another goddess statue here. Uh, we could save, but let's not. Not yet, anyway. We're gonna keep going for a little bit. So this area actually looks like the Mulbear Highlands, or Mulbear Lands. Let's have a look at where we are quickly. Kind of give you an idea, a rough idea. Okay, so there's the Kingdom of Roland, and there's Palo down south. So we're pretty much smack dab in the middle of the two of them, somewhere in the mountains. And for some reason, I'm, I keep letting Kevin do all of that. I mean, he's just our, kind of our sap. Now, it's starting to get really, really flowery. Wasn't there something to do with flowers earlier? These flowers... Ugh. Did we die? No, we're just asleep. What's going on? Where is this? You're awake? This is Roland's secret hideout. We've gathered the remaining troops from the Amazon army here to retake the castle. And you are? I am the Princess of Roland, Lise. Our kingdom was ruined by Navarre's forces. I thought I was the only one alive. I'd been searching for my brother Elliot until I heard about this place. Say, Lise, would you happen to know about the Wind Mana Stone? Yes, that's in a corridor of wind on the western side. But there are wind god statues guarding the entrance. You might not be able to get in. There's a way to control the wind from inside the castle, but it's been taken over. In that case, let me help retake the castle. It's just something I have to do. Yeah, because it's your people who took, every who took over everything. This is our fight. I can't ask you to get involved. Once you recover, please leave. Well, harsh words, but them's the breaks. Anyway, um, next time on Seiken Densetsu 3, uh, we'll start talking to the Amazon people here and see what they're up to, see what their plan is in retaking their castle, and see if we can find a hint on retrieving the uh, Wind Spirit Jin. Anyway, until then, see you in the next episode.